Before we get to the Florida game, make sure you drop a name in the commit list so we can create the largest user prospect pool for next season. Link in the description and pinned comment. Welcome back to the dynasty. The number four Gators are in the tar pit for a battle and Rapid City picks up another commit that we'll talk about at the half. We'll track and show highlights from number six, Oregon and Oregon State, number eight, Penn State and number nine, Michigan State and the number one, Oklahoma State Cowboys in the snow versus BYU. It's the studio now for the game preview. Last week, Rapid City buried the Gophers in a hole, but can they fend off much stiffer competition as the number four Gators look to chomp out the Stegos? We'll find out as number four Florida takes on number three Rapid City next. Here we go, two 10 and one teams coming into the final game of the season into the tar pit. Rapid City carrying a long nine game home win streak. Rapid City number three in the CFP, Florida number four. They're flipped in the coaches' poll. They're jockeying for playoff position. Rapid City will move on to the Big Ten Championship no matter what happens here today. But make no mistake, they want the win. A huge game for both of these teams. Del Rio taking off, gets the corner and has himself eight yards. Rapid City aware of Del Rio's legs, will look to keep him contained. Second and two. Quick bubble screen. Bowman gets lit up and has the first. First and ten. The give to Bowman around the corner. Tackle down after five. This crowd is loud already. Del Rio looking over the middle. Dropped. McCormick with great coverage. Third and five. Out to Wick line. Ten yards and a first. Florida having no trouble moving the ball early. Quick dump to Beatty. Beatty busts the dudes off of him, breaking tackles down to the 25. First and 10. Out to the corner, wide open is Coley for another first at the 10. Rapid City on their heels. First and 10, Gators at the 10. Del Rio's taking off, but he ain't gonna get it on the backfield. Sacked by Swan Toa. Fighting off a lineman to have himself a snack. Second and 11, Del Rio. Looking, throws at the horn, drilled at the three. Third down. Oh, and Rapid City might have been offside on that. They were. Wilson threw it out of the back of the end zone, but they're going to get another chance. So now third and one. Del Rio over the middle. Touchdown, Gators. Nick Nelson is. And Florida jumps out to the quick seven to nothing lead. Driving the field pretty easily. Game update. Let's check in on Oregon State facing off against number five, Oregon. 6.48 to go in the first as Zariah Beeson carries one 58 yards all the way to the house. And the six and four Beavers are bringing it to the Ducks. They're up seven to nothing. So Rapid City comes out looking to answer Florida in their home stadium here. McLaurin is checking at the line already. Oh, runs into his own man and throws it wide. Maybe some jitters on first down. Fly underneath. That was not the Colby Burrow, but he makes the catch and has seven yards. Of course, McLaurin, very inaccurate to start games usually. We'll see what kind of quarterback we get today. Third and three. The give up the middle, and they're short. And this is an insane call from Joey Galloway. Fourth and one from their own 30. The dive up the middle. Burrow has the first down. And the crowd liked that. McLaurin checking at the line. He will look for his tight end. Oh, and it's almost intercepted by Wilcoxon. McLaurin flipping the run. The give. Burl has the corner. Burl first down after 12. Rapid City in Gator territory. Alani Neal checks in and gets hit in the backfield. They'll make it back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10. Play action. McLaurin looking for a receiver. He's got Charlie Hall and he misses badly. This is Vintage McLaurin. Wide open receivers, first quarter, cannot hit him. The snap on third. McLaurin to the tight end, Borland. First down, 18 yards. First down and 10. The give, Burl up the middle, six yards. Rapid City already putting together a 10 play drive here. McLaurin rolling around, dancing, throwing it out of bounds. Now we'll have a third down and four here. Oh, and. Kobe Burrow drops the pass from McLaurin and it will bring up a fourth down. 
Rapid City trots out German to kick the field goal to get some points on the board. Around a 40-yard attempt, the kick is up, and the kick is good. Rapid City lights into the lead. It's 7-3. Gators with two minutes to go in the first. So has Rapid City made any adjustments here? First and 10, Del Rio, quick wide receiver screen. Three yards. Del Rio starting off hot, six of seven through the air already. This is a screen and it's set up. Wait is waiting for him. Bowman breaks the tackle, but picks up a yard. And you know this crowd is gonna get up. Third and six, and that is incomplete. Rapid City holds, great coverage. And Rapid City will start in Gator territory. Play action on first. Are they going to go for a dagger shot right away? McLaurin throwing to Charlie. Makes the catch for a 39. What a throw from Anthony McLaurin. And just like that, Rapid City is down at the seven-yard line. The give. Earl inside the five. As we tick down under a minute in the first quarter. Another give. This time it's Burl breaking a tackle. Gets hammered down after one. Third down and goal. Can Rapid City punch it in and take the lead? Burrow with the give. There's nobody on the outside. And an easy touchdown for Rapid City as they take the lead 10 to 7 over the Gators. The defense was solid. Last possession. Del Rio will take off. And he'll have the edge down the sideline for 20 yards. Seven seconds left here in the first quarter. That might be the end of the first. We'll see if they get the snap off. First and 10, Del Rio Wilson looking. He's gonna take off with this thing again. And he's gonna get hit. I thought he fumbled that ball. We end the first. Del Rio ripping Rapid City up with his legs right now, but it's 10 to seven. Stego's lead after a quick punch in the mouth from the Gators. This is gonna be a good one, Jimmy. Yeah, I think so, but what is this thing they're doing? <laughs> That's the chomp, Jimmy. The chomp. Man, I thought people in Florida just didn't know how to clap their hands. <laughs> you know, it, yeah. maybe you're right. And so far, the Gators look like they want to throw every play. And that is a quick screen out to Elston for another 17. And the chunk gains are piling up. Right now, Del Rio Wilson is having his way. Rapid City got to get him uncomfortable. And he will as he gets driven to the ground by C.J. Bazile. That is exactly what this defense needed to see happen. One play can switch it up. And just like that, it's second and 19. Del Rio. Out wide to Reese. And he'll have five yards. Third and 14. Quick throw, and it's dropped. Fourth down. Great coverage by Jalen McNair. And Florida will bring out the kicking team. This is a pretty long kick, 47 yards. The kick is up, it's stripped and left, and it's no good. Rapid City. Holds the lead, 10 to seven, and will take over in decent territory. First down, Anthony McClure. This is a draw play. Burrow's got some blocks up here. Runs into his own manner. He might have had a little more. Second down and six. An end around called. Charlie Hall will have the first. Galloway in his bag of tricks. First down, this is a toss. Burrow cannot get the edge, gets nailed. That, this is play action. McLaurin looking low to the tight end. Oh, he makes the catch. I thought that ball was getting batted down. Third down and one from the 50. Snap is away. Earl, first down, Rapid City. We've seen a lot of this from Rapid City trying to control the clock. Another give, Burl. Oh, gets dragged down. He had blockers, but he'll lose three on a fantastic play from Matt Moffitt. Not a good pattern here. Rapid City behind the sticks on second down again. McLaurin. He's taking a shot. He's throwing this one up. Can Charlie get it? Touchdown, Rapid City. Are you kidding me with that throw? 50 yards. Gets behind the safety. The corner cannot make up the deficit. And Rapid City extends the lead to 10. And I think somebody told this crowd that they're one of the toughest places to play because it is obnoxious in here. Horn for four. Second down and six. Del Rio. The give. Bowman. Run it. And he will have a Gator first, about halfway through the second. Out wide to Horn for three more. Del Rio, 11 of 14 now for 90 yards, second and seven. Del Rio's gonna take off. He's gonna get hammered down, he fumbles the ball. Bouncing around and Horn recovers. The Gators dodge a bullet. Bowman 
to give. Bowman drops after three. Second down at seven. Del Rio, he's going to take off again. And again has a first. Rapid City is going to have to start spying Del Rio. And he's going again. He is going again. Taking hits, but he's down to the 15. So now Rapid City does have a spy on the field. And he just throws it out of the back of the end zone. Second down and 10. Del Rio looking. Del Rio not going anywhere this time. Third down and eight now. Rapid City in contain. Del Rio to the corner. First down to Wick line inside the five. First and goal, Del Rio. He's got a man. It's picked off by Preston in the end zone. What a huge, just go down, fella. What a huge interception from Preston. Not his guy in coverage. Just had the awareness to turn around and find it. Update time. We're back, and Oregon State has scored again on the legs of Isaiah Newell. The Beavers want the upset. It's 14 to nothing, closing in on the half. So Rapid City takes back over at the 20. McLaurin's rolling out. Didn't like it. He's going to take off for one of the first times today. He'll be down after 15. Rapid City with just under two minutes to try and put some more points on the board here. McLaurin out wide to Posey. Posey's got the edge and he's got a first down. So now Rapid City is showing some tempo here. Going quick. That's the way. McLaurin out wide. It's intercepted by Collier Jr. And uh, he is still on his feet. To the 40, down at the 35, and just like that, the Gators get the ball right back on the McLaurin interception. A risky throw, not worth the price. So, the Gators get another shot at this thing. First and 10, Del Rio trying to take off, and he can't get out of traffic. Gets sacked. Swantoa on the prowl. So that sack pushes the Gators out of field goal territory. Second and 16. Now why? That ball's almost intercepted. Oh, baby, Jared West, you got to bring that in, fella. Uh, now Rapid City telling this home crowd to get up. Third and 16. Del Rio to the out. Safe throw. Fourth down. And they will bring the kicking unit on. This is a 55-yard attempt. It's up, and that ball does not have the leg. No good. So Rapid City dodges their own bullet, and it's first down again. Lauren breaking the pocket. Going to throw it away. Snap is away. Lawrence got a break again. And this time he will take off and he will have a first down and get out of bounds with a minute left. Oh, he did not get out of bounds. The clock is still running. Posey in motion. Snaps away. And McLaurin is going for it. Oh, the ref got in the way of that and it gets intercepted by Pouncey. Are you kidding me? Laybourne gets held up by the ref. And this ball's underthrown anyway. Galloway tell McLaurin, you got to settle down, man. Quit trying to win the game on every throw. So sloppy play from both teams here to end this half. That ball's out wide, and he's got Horn for 20. Del Rio taking off, only a yard. The Gators down to one timeout now. Second down and nine. A give to Bowman, and the Gators going a little conservative here. He'll be down, and Rapid City will use the timeout. Third and seven. Over the middle, Wick line. He will be short of the first. Rep City burns another. Rep City gets one more snap off here. Earl will just go up for three yards, and that will be the way this half ends. 17 to 7. Really sloppy there at the end of the second. We'll see what the third quarter has in store, but for now, let's get to the halftime show. Rapid City hitting the Gators with a chomp. Let's get some halftime scores, highlights from around the nation. Rapid City picks up one new commit. Four-star wide receiver Caleb Ingram joins the class. At 6'189", he's the number 12 wide receiver in the national rankings out of Florida. Not as fast as we'd like, and his first step is not great, but he runs a good route and isn't afraid to hit the middle of the field. This guy may be screaming slot wide receiver. Defensive tackle Willie McIntyre has been crystal balled to Rapid City recently, with no one really pursuing the big 6'1", 302-pound big man. He's actually at the game today, and rumors are he may announce his 
commitment afterwards. Now, Rapid City's class rank jumps one spot into the top five as they are still the only team in the top 10 without a five-star recruit. Oklahoma, Texas A&M, and Ohio State are eating up the top talent. With the addition of Caleb Ingram, Rapid City finally gets a guy from Florida in the class as they spread out their footprint across the nation. Is there anyone in Texas or South Dakota looming? Now, in the latest CFP rankings, Rapid City moves to third with two Oklahoma teams sitting at one and two. The Gators are right there at four as the top eight is just stacked with loaded teams. Middle Tennessee State falls to 12 from eight after losing seven to six last week to Louisiana Tech. And the Hurricanes fall all the way to 15 after losing to unranked North Carolina, 35 to 28. Rapid City and Penn State will meet next week regardless of their games today for the Big Ten title. Braylon Allen jumps into the lead for the Heisman. The Wisconsin running back is a monster and balled out for 197 rushing yards last game, plus 67 through the air. Goodness. Now, lastly, the Tar Pit moves up to seventh on the top his places to play now on the back of that 21 and 5 record at home winning their last 10 straight and hey a special thank you to the rapid city boosters and the future rapid city producers yes there is a new tier in the membership level it is your support that keeps this rapid city network going if you'd like to become a booster or a producer and support voice actor editions click the join button below and become a member of the channel and hey enter a name into the prospect pool for recruiting next season with a link in the description we're trying to make the largest custom name class ever with the community here around 140 names are already in the pool Thank you, members, once again. Now, let's get to some games around the country. Let's check back in on Oregon and Oregon State. When we left this game, it was 14 to nothing Beavers, but with 37 seconds left, the Ducks get on the board with this touchdown pass from Ty Thompson to Damon LeMay, and they're headed to the half with the Beavers up 14 to seven. Next, let's go to Spartan Stadium, where the CFP implications were on the line as number nine, Michigan State, took on number eight, Penn State. The Nittany Lions got a field goal early, and then later in the first, Christian Valu would punch one in for six, 10 to nothing. Penn State. Now we're two minutes from the half with the Spartans driving and on fourth and goal, they're turned away. And at the half, it's 13 to nothing. Penn State. Now how about a little snow as number one Oklahoma State and Heisman hopeful Dominic Richardson take on BYU. We pick this up towards the end of the first and Richardson gets stuffed on third down and the Cowboys would miss the field goal attempt. The snow wreaking a little havoc. Now two minutes left in the second and BYU goes for it here on fourth and can't get it. But Oklahoma State would turn around and do the same thing and turn it over. The snowy and sloppy first half would end on a sack fumble and at the break, no one has scored in this thing. Of course, we'll have the finals for these games in the post game show, but for now, let's get back to the Gators and the Stegos in the tar pit. Rapid City will start the second half with the ball here. First to 10. Throws the emotion. Toss sweep. He's got a blocker out here. Burrow gets the edge, and he has a first down at 12 yards. Galloway telling us they've got to clean up the mistakes. No more turnovers. This is a reverse. An end around Posey trying to get the corner. Picks up three. Florida showing blitz. Rapid City running straight into it. Burl. First down, Rapid City. Rapid City has three guys on campus visiting today, all in the trenches on both sides of the ball. Alani Neal. He's got, oh, a little burst from Alani Neal. Oh, what a nasty cut. And he is down to the 20 after 32 yards. Quickly, it is first down at the 20. McLaurin doesn't like anything, just tosses that one into the stands. And that might be intentional grounding. It is. They're going to lose a lot of yards on this one. Just a boneheaded play from McLaurin, and it is second at 27. Oh, sweet. Burrow looking for the edge. He's got it. Eight yards. So third and 19 now. McLaurin going to roll. Looking for anybody, somebody to come back to it. It's not there. He's going to take off, and he's all the way down to the 13. That brings up a decision. Fourth and three. And Rapid City's going for it. Lord, play action, looking for the tight end. He's got Borland, who runs backwards and loses the first down. Are you kidding me? No awareness from Borland there, and it's first down Gators now. What a huge mistake. First to 10, over the middle of the horn. First down Gators. And really, you just hope that that's not a play that we talk about after the game. Great, Barry. Hello, Kevin Robinson. Welcome to the neighborhood. Second and 13. Del Rio looking over the middle, wide open. Mumphrey getting left in the dust. We are already halfway through the third. 
out wide and it's dangerously falls to the ground. Second down and 10. Elskins, five yards. And what do the Gators do here on third and five? You gotta think they're throwing this ball. They are. He's got options. Beanie, first down Gators. Oh, and a lot more to the 30. Down the sideline, out at the 23 after 33 yards. First and 10. Quick throw. Two yards. Second and eight now. Del Rio looking. He tries to escape, and he ain't breaking out of that jail cell. Cooper Tua swallowing the key. Third and 15. Del Rio looking. He doesn't have anything. He got to get buried again. Sacked. C.J. Bazil with his second of the game, and it couldn't have come at a better time. The fear in Del Rio's eyes when you see the Predator coming at you. And this is a 51-yard attempt. They've already missed the 55. I'm not sure why they're even trying this. The kick is up. And it might have the left. Nope, no good. And we're back out at the Beavers Ducks game, and Oregon is going for it on fourth down halfway through the third, and they cannot convert. They still trail the Beavers. 14 to seven. First and 10, Rapid City from the 35 yard lot. This is a give, Burl, nowhere to go. Second and nine, the snap is away. Look at McLaurin doesn't have anything, but he's got a lot of room to run if he wants. He takes off, makes the man miss, he's up to midfield, and he'll be tackled there at about the 45, after 19. First down and 10, this is a give. Burl, outside. Blockers get picked up. Burrow makes that miss down to 2015. Out of bounds at the 12. 33 yards. First down, snaps away. McLaurin. Oh, there's a blister coming and he gets it. Smacked to the grass by Alakwode. Now that right there is what the Gators needed. A little chomp action on McLaurin. Second and 22. McLaurin, option. Oh, someone get the smelling salt. So what was once a promising drive now is third and 21. Posey in motion, snaps away. McLaurin rolling right, he's looking for Laybourne. He's got Laybourne to the seventh. Fourth down and six, and this time Rapid City will take the points. The kicker comes out to the field on what is a, about a 25 yarder. This will be the final play of the third quarter. The kick is up and it is good. Rapid City takes the 20 to seven lead into the fourth. Jimmy, are we gonna hang on to this thing? Up 13, I like our odds, Mike, but you know what? I'm gonna need more points to get that CFP ranking higher. <laughs> you need that ranking like a hot dog, huh? Oh, I'm about to take victory hot dog to the face, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, victory hot dogs. The Rapid City defense has been in Del Rio's face. He's made them pay a few times, but he's been sacked five times today and hurried another three. Fourth quarter, Del Rio wide open to Elkson. And that is not what you want to see from this defense to start the fourth. Underneath the wick line for five. A turnover would go a long way here. Second and six. Del Rio out to the sideline again to Horn. And that play is money for them. First and ten. Ah, why? Oh, it's almost intercepted. Preston, Tyrell Preston, man, almost had his second. Unfortunately, we've seen a lot of that this season. Guys dropping INTs. Second and 10. He's going deep, and he's got Horn for the touchdown. 34 yards to Bader. The Gators make it a one-score game with seven minutes to go. And a hush falls over the crowd as it is 20 to 14. It's getting tight. Who wants it more? 20 to 14, seven minutes to go in the fourth. McLaurin checking at the line, flipping the play to the left side. Burl has a few yards here, second and six. Burrow with over 100 yards on the ground today. Second and six, snap is away. And that is an anticipatory throw from McLaurin. I don't know how that worked. Florida showing blitz off the edge. McLaurin sees the blitz, throws the Charlie on the sideline for nine. This is a sweep. Burrow, first down Stegos in the Gator territory. Boy, rewind the clock four years ago. Did you ever think Rapid City would be here? First to 10. Yes. Burl. Lots of blockers. One man to beat. He beats him. Down inside the 20. 
Alani Neal checks in at halfback. Rapid City going for the dagger here. First and ten. Alani picking some holes here for three. Second down and seven now. Five minutes to go. This is an end around. Blayborn trying to get the edge. Cannot. He'll lose a yard. Third down and eight from the 15. And Rapid City knows they just need to take care of the ball here. A guaranteed three makes this a two-score game. Listen to that. It is play action. McLaurin looking. He is just going to throw this thing away. Fourth down and eight. German comes out for what is a 33-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it is good. Rapid City leads it 23 to 14. Y'all, it has happened. Oregon State gets the first down and is able to run out the clock on the Ducks. They pull the major upset, and the Duck Hunt is over. First and 10, Gators. Wide receiver screen. Going out to Bowman instead, and it's going to be no game. Second and 10. Del Rio Wilson throwing it away. Third down, Del Rio Wilson dump it short to Bowman, and Bowman has the first. Del Rio Wilson closing in on 300 yards through the air. First and 10. Slants across the middle. He's going to dump short to Horn. Oh, Horn! Saying hello to the Earthworms. Second down and four. Del Rio looking. Oh, he's going to take off. And Del Rio has a first down past the 50. Three minutes to go, and now the Gators will go quickly. Del Rio looking. Got the running back over the middle. And Reese will fumble the ball, and Jared West falls on it. First down, Stegos. What a monumental disaster for the Gators as Reese puts it in the grass. Kevin Robinson with the forced fumble. And now Rapid City takes over with three minutes left, up by nine. The give, Burrow, three yards. And you gotta think Galloway is gonna keep giving it to Burrow and have them drain that clock. The give, oh, and Burrow gets hammered in the backfield. And Florida uses their first timeout with 2.15 to go. It's third and nine now. This is a pass. McLaurin looking for the almost intercepted. That was intended for Borland, but Will Coxon was waiting. A good punt from German has the Gators at the 18-yard line to start this possession. Horn, eight more. Second and two. Over the middle, Wick line. First down, 18 more. First and 10. Florida going fast here. A draw up the middle to Bowman, who will not get the first of so the clock, will continue to run. This is a end around. Horn will get buried in the backfield. Some odd play calling from the Gators as Bullock gets the TFL. And now it is third and six. Another. And Horn loses more yardage. Waits with the TFL. You gotta wonder if Del Rio Wilson was calling those plays. I can't see that coming from the sidelines. Fourth and seven. This is the game right here. Over the middle. First down, Gators. And we are under a minute now. They are running out of time. Down low to Reese, who gets out of bounds, but loses three. These are bonehead decisions from Del Rio Wilson. Second and 13. Oh, batted down by Gary Mumphrey. Great coverage. Third and 13. Crowd on their feet. Over the middle! Great coverage again. This time it's Jared West. Fourth down. Sideline. That ain't even close to a first. That's your ball game. Third and eight. This will be the final play of the game. Burrow gets the carry. Can't make a man miss. He loses yardage. But Rapid City knocks off the Gators. And I don't know why they're chopping. Rapid City will go on to the Big Ten Championship for their first year in the Big Ten. McLaurin, a great game. Kobe Burrow, 27 carries, 137 yards and a touchdown. He's your player in the game. What a game from the Stegos. The Gators will have to see how far they fall in the polls. I got to imagine they're still in the CFP top eight. Let's find out what else is going on in the postgame show. But that's how you like the video. Like it, drop a comment, or drop a timestamp of your favorite play of the game. And I will see you right now in the postgame show. That is a huge win for Rapid City. Let's get some finals from some other games. Quick note here on Fargo, as they down the Scarlet Knights 27 to 17, Mayan Williams carried for 155 and dimes through two touchdowns. Now, 
those that saw the game update during the Florida Rapid City game know that Oregon State won this game. Here's the first down that enabled the Beavers to run the clock out to pull off the huge upset and knock off the number five Ducks. Skylar Thompson picks up player of the game and you gotta wonder, can Oregon still make the CFP? Back out to Spartan Stadium and Penn State would add a field goal in the third to push the lead to 16. We're already at the start of the fourth and Hamp Fay hits Cameron Allen to cut the lead, but they go for two and not get it. Now we've got two minutes left and Andy Crum dashes the Spartans hopes with a nine yard touchdown run. 23 to six now, and Michigan State will get a garbage touchdown to Raquan Ferguson, but Christian Valu doesn't care as he picks up player of the game and the Nittany Lions are headed to the Big Ten title game versus Rapid City. Now, let's finish out in the snow, where number one Oklahoma State is knotted up with BYU. BYU would get a shot at a field goal, and they'd miss it, so we're headed to the fourth quarter with goose eggs on the board. And then finally, with four minutes left in the game, Timmy McLean hits Keanu Morris for the first points of the game. Timmy would be the one to end any chance BYU had later on in the fourth, and Robert White picked up player of the game with two sacks and a forced fumble. The number one Cowboys escape the snow and hold on to the top spot. That'll do it for the post game. The next game is the Big Ten title game, but until then, drop a timestamp for your favorite play of the game in the comments, and I will see you in that video. But until then, go. There goes.